Hi, it's Laurie from Coast to Coast Craft Girls coming to you from the West Coast. Today I wanted to share a fun birthday card that I made and it's got like sort of a floating acetate layer in the middle. Um, and I used, this is the die from the Chinoiserie collection. This bridge is from the Dancing Dragonflies collection and then I don't know where the happy birthday is from. And I put some little flowers on it and then this is another one of those where once I put the flowers on, one, they kind of don't really show behind the frame, and two, I didn't wasn't crazy about it. Um, it's a tent fold card, but it's it's attached at the bottom, but it does fold flat because I scored the bottom, so it will fold up flat. But that gives you a nice little um, stand for it to stand on and hold that acetate, so it will stand up nicely. Um, and it's uh, it's very simple, but I, I really liked it. I thought it was super pretty. So let me show you how it's made. So as I said, the frames are cut from the Chinoiserie collection. This one I'm going to do in a little bit different color scheme. So the old one I did pur some purple and then a gold shadow layer. And this one I'm going to do blue with a gold shadow layer. So this is just a gold... Um, uh, cardstock that I cut and then I cut the same thing again um, five by seven piece of paper and then I just cut it and I'm just gonna use a little bit of a do a little bit of a drop shadow so let's go ahead and do that uh, oh I don't have a dotty tape pen out well I'll use my regular pen on the sides and then I'll use some glue on the middle I ran out of dotty tape pen on my last one and I forgot to get another one out. So that's okay. We can do it this way. And then I'm just gonna put a little bit of tacky glue, one around the edges. Give me a little bit of wiggle time. And this is pearl card, so it doesn't stick as well. Um, so sometimes the Tacky glue will give you a little bit better, long-lasting stick. And you don't have to put glue on everything when you have these intricate dies. I usually just kind of look for like the edges, see the edges of these curly cues, because those are likely to stick up and like catch on something and tear. Or, so I just kind of, I don't put it on everything. Um, just kind of hit and then I also try to get the sections that are a little bit wider so you can put the glue on. This die is particularly nice for that because the there are a lot of wider sections. Okay and then um, the way I do drop shadow is just kind of line it up and then offset it one direction or another, and you can go either to the side, up, down, down and to the side, whatever you want to do. You just want to get it slightly offset so that you can kind of see just a hint of that gold color underneath. And that looks pretty good. So there's my frame. I love doing drop shadows because I think it really looks nice. Then we need, and that's basically the front of your card. But um, I need an actual card base itself to go on. So to make the card base, and I'm gonna, um, and I'm, this is my matte and layer paper for the back, and I'm gonna go ahead and do, put that on because once I put this together, it's gonna be hard to get that inside. So this is from paper from the Chinoiserie collection. The purple one, this paper, this is. Um, it's actually vellum from the Dancing Dragonfly collection. But I'm going to use this uh, paper from the Chinoiserie collection because I thought it went really well with the blue. And that bridge does kind of, to me, look very Asian inspired. And so this back piece is just five by seven. And then I didn't want any of the white showing, so my this this paper is also five by seven. I'm just gonna glue that on, 
And the reason I don't use that for the back is because it's not that sturdy. Now this piece of card is, let me see. Um, so it was an eight and a half by 11 piece of paper. So it's 11 by five. And then I scored at three quarters of an inch, and then I go down seven, and then I score another three quarters, three quarters, and then whatever's left. I think that's an inch, an inch and a quarter. So um, that would be a score at three quarters, at seven and three quarters, at eight and, oh, I take that back, that's actually, that's actually an inch and an inch. So seven and three, so let me say it again. It's five by 11, so five by 11, and it's scored at three quarters, seven and three quarters, eight and three quarters, and nine and three quarters. And then you kind of concertina that bottom, and that gives you the bottom of your card. And then these are your two glue flaps. So we're gonna glue this on to there, and this one on to there. But I wanna put my vellum in the middle first. So this is just, um, it's not heavyweight vellum, it's just the heat resistant vellum. And it's, it's five by seven. And the other one I cut five and a half by seven, scored it a half, and, and so that it was exactly seven inches down here. Um, what I found though is it's kind of having it exactly that length kind of it catches sometimes. So on this one, I, I did it, I cut it at five and five by seven exactly. I'm going to go ahead and score the top at half an inch. That will make it half an inch short for the card, but I, but I think that'll keep it from hanging up, you know, getting caught on that fold on the bottom. So I think it'll actually be better. So again, we're gonna, we're, we're trying some different things. So go ahead and, I didn't get that scored very well. Let's try it again. And you wanna score it good enough that you get a good crease, but not so much that you're gonna tear it. burnish. Now you want to put your acetate onto the back first before because once you put that um, once you put the top layer in you're not you can't get it in so so we're going to fold that over and attach it to the top. So let's uh, I'll just put the tape on the card right on the edge. And again, just a little bit of tacky glue. And then line this up, and you wanna make sure that you get the sides lined up straight because you don't want the acetate sticking out your sides. Oh, and I didn't get that on there very straight. So let's see if I can get it off and try it again. And that's why I put the tacky glue on. get it lined up and then um, what I didn't do is I had the sides lined up but I didn't push it up into that top crease and so it was sticking up and that's much better and then we're going to put this piece over the top of that one just like that and then we'll glue that bottom piece on there so let's do the top one first some tacky glue. Now because this is that I um, I scored this at half an inch and this is three quarters of an inch, this is going to go down below the vellum, which is what I want. So you get it lined up 
on the sides and then again push it right up into that top crease. Make sure it's straight on the sides. And then because that cardstock flap is a little bit longer than the vellum flap, that will also help hold that vellum down. Now we're going to go ahead and do the flap on the back. This is just cardstock to cardstock, so I'm just going to use my tacky glue. And just on that one little piece, line it up. Now this should fold flat. Yep, just like that. Okay, now we're going to put our um, front on, our blue. And at this point, if you wanted to get a little bit of a white black drop shadow, you could. Um, I don't care about that, so I'm just going to put it right over the top. essentially our card and then it's all just to decorate um now i'm going to put my bridge in and uh again i don't have my dotty tape pen so we're just going to kind of do the best i can here actually maybe i'll use my 3d glue gel because that'll give me a minute to get it in the right spot and it'll dry nice and hard so just put a little tiny bit on here. Just enough. To, it's not going to get, it's not in a spot where it's going to get like, um, you know, rubbed or, so you don't have to worry about all those little pieces kind of getting pulled up, but um, you just need enough to hold it on there. And then just hold that acetate down, slide it in, and put it where you want it. I want it right about there. Yes. Okay. And then we'll just let that dry. And then I'm going to put on my, my happy birthday. A little bit of tacky glue and you can use whatever sentiment and I started out with a, um, a stamp sentiment on a piece of matted and layered cardstock and it covered up too much of the frame the frame was just too pretty to cover up so I I, I went for this one instead because I didn't I wanted the sentiment but I didn't want to cover up any of that beautiful kind of scroll work frame from the chinoiserie collection. I, I loved the way that looked, so. And then we're just going to put this down here. Press it down. And that's it. And you could see you've got that floating layer. Now you could put, um, it'd be beautiful to put florals in there or whatever, but it just showcases the beautiful papers and that gorgeous bridge, which I personally think is amazing and beautiful. So, and I've been looking for ways to use it. So that's it. Anyway, hope you like that. Thanks for watching. Bye.